strong thunderstorms rumbling through portions of the southeast last night and this morning. This is damage from Kentwood, Louisiana via Twitter of a possible tornado. Just look, it just took the entire side of this two-story house off. And we actually had a report of a tornado, possible tornado down near the Laurel area in Jones County this morning with some more damage. So uh, definitely some uh, unfortunate news down there, but luckily none of that two strong uh, storms here in Starkville. We did have a few uh, pretty good downpours roll through the area this morning around 645 to 7 a.m. You can see that is slowly pushing out of here. The rest of the rain remains lo along and north of Highway 8, so from Calhoun City, Houston, Aberdeen, points north, still getting a pretty good soaking. And we are watching the severe weather threat ending for the Golden Triangle, but still continuing to track it for portions of Alabama. These yellow boxes are a part of a tornado watch that goes out until noon. These red boxes are actually tornado warnings for uh, Perry County that's just south of Birmingham and even some severe thunderstorm warnings for the Huntsville area so we'll watch the strong storms stay off to our east this afternoon and we are slowly starting to clear out this is our Alpha Insurance sky cam from Columbus notice lots of blue skies returning we still do see a few of those low hanging clouds notice how they're tilted that's because the winds just above the ground are very strong really just hauling these clouds from south to north ahead of the front and check the calendar it says November but it really feels more like April out there the front uh, obviously has not gone through just yet 70 degrees this is above our average high temperature and it's still only 9 30 in the morning notice the south southwest wind at 12 miles per hour still really funneling in some of that moisture and really unseasonably warm all across mississippi into portions of alabama notice 70 here in the golden triangle 72 in meridian but can you pick out where the front is it's just right across uh, northern mississippi notice behind the front temperatures cooler 59 in tunica even cooler behind that so we will start to see these cooler temperatures begin to filter in across portions of the Magnolia State as we go throughout this afternoon into tonight. So this is all part of a larger storm system. This was once a stationary frontal boundary finally gaining a little bit of momentum. Here's those strong storms in Alabama. We will watch those push into uh, the Atlanta metro area through the afternoon uh, ongoing in Alabama right now. So you know the deal by now. The cold front coming through uh, within the next hour or so behind that, temperatures will be falling. We'll still hang on to a few of those clouds for this afternoon, but by tomorrow, high pressure will reassert itself across Mississippi. Sunshine will be back in the forecast and temperatures will be much more pleasant, feeling much more like November. So for today, unseasonably warm. We've already reached our high temperature of 72 degrees. Temperatures falling through the afternoon. You will see the wind shift for, out of the northwest once the front goes through tonight. Temperatures bottoming out 38 degrees, very chilly, gradual clearing tomorrow. Finally, feeling like November 57 degrees is all we're going to manage for the high temperature. And notice the temperature trend over the next five days, up, up, up. Temperatures going to 60, then lower 70s by the start of next week with lots and lots of sunshine while low temperatures moderating back into the 50s. I'm Campus Connect meteorologist Jake Reed with your forecast. Have a great day.